In this video, we discuss packet switching. If you haven't yet watched our videos on what is a packet and how it's constructed, go back and watch that video first. Packet switching can be thought of as a five step process. First, a data transmission is broken down into separate packets. Then, each packet is assigned a sequence number before being sent. Each packet is able to then take its own independent route to the destination based on the congestion of any route at a given time. Routers are responsible for controlling the route that each packet takes. Packets may arrive out of order and once the final packet arrives, they're reordered correctly. Here's a little animation showing an example of packets leaving and taking their own routes. As you can see, they've arrived out of order, so the destination computer reassembles them correctly. So there are several advantages to packet switching. There's no need to tie up a single communication channel, and obviously it's very easy to overcome any busy or faulty lines by simply rerouting packets on a different line. It's relatively easy to expand package usage, and it's possible to achieve quite high data transmission rates. There are some disadvantages. Packets can become lost en route and therefore need to be resent. This method is more prone to errors when dealing with real-time streaming. And of course, there can be a slight delay at the destination while packets are being reordered. Here's a little summary slide of what we've discussed. Pause the video and take some notes. Now that's technically all you need to know for the IGCSE, but if you want to learn a little bit more and looking to study this further, then watch the rest of this video. It is possible for packets to get lost as they keep bouncing around from router to router without ever reaching their destination. To prevent this, we add a hop or time to live field into the head of a packet. The time to live field is reduced by one every time it leaves a router. Once the time to live field reaches zero, the packet is deleted when it reaches the next router. Eventually, the receiving computer will send a request to resend any missing packets. Thank you.